Our coverage of the 2016 general election continues this morning uh, with two candidates. Uh, the first is standing in East Douglas, Claire Betterson, a nurse for... Uh, is 32 years old, single, born in Surrey, worked at Nobles for nine years, stood in the constituency last year in the by-election, uh, stood for a seat in Southampton, uh, uh, I think some time ago, an independent you describe yourself as, but a, a UK Conservative Party leader. Good morning. Is, is that what you... Are you still a member of the Conservative Party across there? Hi, good morning. I am a member of the Conservative Party, but that is just something that had carried on, actually, since my university. I had it on a direct debit. I'm not an active member of the Conservative Party. I follow politics closely, and certainly over here... I'm standing as an independent. You're very keen to see the ratio of 1 to 23 women to men in the keys altered, but at the end of the day, it's up the electorate, isn't it, who they decide to elect, or should we be looking at positive discrimination? I totally uh, do not agree with positive discrimination. I'd like to see more women represented. I'd also like to see more younger people represented, but I want those people elected because they're the right people for the job, and certainly not just to fill numbers and you know, reach a certain target. Well, in the next five years, who would be the right person for the job? I believe that I certainly have a lot to offer to the Keys in terms of experience, passion um, and commitment to making the island an even greater place than it is already. And I also recognise I can't do that alone. We need a good team of people. As I say, if we can draw that from a diverse background, from diverse, you know, certainly from genders, ages, etc., I, I believe that would be a positive advantage because we'd be more representative of our island. But isn't political and financial now more important in the next five years? We hear the word passion a lot, but we need people who really can sort out the financial bit of a mess we're in at the moment. Yeah, I agree. We need uh, a, a mixture, but we also need people who can work very closely with the civil servants who are in those roles to come up with you know, pa uh, popular policy and effective policy for the island that would bring us into a stronger position financially and economically and allow us to make the changes to the things that are more interesting, I suppose. But those things aren't going to come without money and groundings behind us. But, but if you were, say, put into the Treasury, would you have any answers to the pension problems? I mean, that's the big one at the moment, is it? Absolutely. And I've followed the pensions you know, very closely, obviously, being a member of the public sector pension scheme myself. And I think that uh, you know communication has been a, a difficulty with that. And what we've actually ended up with, conversely, is people sometimes can considering leaving the scheme because they're not sure of the certainty of the future of it. By people leaving, we're ending up with less people contributing to the scheme and the same number of people taking out. So we've actually ended up in a weaker position. You suggest the horse trams. Let's go on the horse trams now. You're in East Douglas. <laughs> um, you say friends of horse trams should run them. They should be restricted to uh, between 10 and 3 p.m., 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. weekdays, avoiding rush hours, not interfere with the traffic and not run on TT and MGP race days. So in effect, what the government are doing at the moment is cutting down the, the number of days they run is that what you're looking yeah. at yeah i think that we needed to, you know from a long time this has been run almost as a commuter service it's been running to you know two trams at the same time back and forth a lot of them are empty i certainly see people putting photos on facebook you know that is an argument that's that's brought up quite frequently i think we need to look at it as what it is which is a heritage service the people who are coming over here to visit if there's only you know five or six services back and forth a day they'll make sure they're on one of those services and i don't think we need to run beyond that we need to make it more efficient so that it can become something that at, at the best is making a profit and at worst case at least is break even a couple of visible things you want a visible police presence in east douglas you want bobbies on every corner i want to retain a visible police presence i actually think we're very fortunate um certainly you know in the evenings and when there is peak times where crime can occur we do have a good police presence what i don't want to see is that falling back i think when you compare it to other jurisdictions that you might visit and certainly that i've visited we are fortunate and i don't want that to come back one last thing you want trump doys you want painting down on unsightly buildings at least to make them look good what I'd like to see is the areas that we're struggling with getting contractors and developers in just made to look slightly more in keeping with the surrounding areas to prevent bringing property prices down and make us a nicer place to visit and live.